Happy Monday, good luck friends. Today we're having a look at a game from last year from Roxley Games, Dice Throne Season 1. This title from designers Nate Chatelier and Manny Tremblay features out-of-the-box dice battling action for two to six players. I'm going to make Megan and Maria play around for your entertainment, so let's get it to the table and climb the acrylic throne. All right, so this is Dice Throne from Roxley Games. This is season one, so these are the introductory characters. There are some expansions mm -hmm. and season two content is already out. But today we have uh, the Moon Elf. Obviously. Obviously. Yes. And the Shadow Thief. It me. Look, it, does. it looks like me. It does look a lot like Can you. Can I name right? my moon elf, or does do they have a name in the story? Oh, please name your moon elf. My moon elf is named Dust. Dust. <laughs> wow. Uh, all right. Because she's all on right. the moon. No, yeah. I, no I, you know? we all got it. Okay. It's just I didn't like <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> well, sorry, you don't like my name, Nicholas. Wow. That's fine. The, yeah, that's hurtful. <laughs> I mean, She can't change her name. Yeah. She literally can't. It's her name. Dust. Literally no, can't it's her it. name. Dust. All right. Don't you um, want to know what my shadow thief is named? All right, yes. go ahead. My shadow thief is named Ted. Ted? Ted and Dust. Ted. Is, Ted, is Ted an acronym Ted for Ted the shadow thief. No, oh, just, it is. It is? It Ooh. is an acronym. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Cool. But that's it's, a secret. It's all capital well, letters. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. So uh, Dice Throne plays a little bit like uh, Spooky Yahtzee. So you have five <laughs> dice. And um, on your turn, you're going to start out, you're going to gain a card and combat points. You're going to start out with four cards in your hand. Um, at the beginning of your turn, any status effects, the very beginning of your turn is the upkeep phase. Any status effects will happen. We know about upkeep. You know about oh, upkeep all, We know all about it. Um, and then after you check for status effects, uh, you will draw an additional card into your hand and gain one combat point. This is mm. this does not happen on the first turn of the game, but for every other turn that will happen. Almost like it's your draw phase. Oh, don't eat, don't wait. The the analogies are going to get even stronger. Excellent. First up is the main phase where you will wow. play cards from your hand uh, to possibly increase your board or to gain additional benefits. Then you go to literally a combat phase where you have uh, an offensive roll phase. So the player whose turn it is, uh, is on offense. They are going to roll all five of their dice, keep the ones that they want, and re-roll up to two more times. So you can, once you've kept a die, you can put it back in the pool and re-roll it if your second roll is better for one other another thing. Uh, what you're aiming for is on your player boards. So your, uh, the Moon Elf has a longbow ability that will trigger on at least three arrows. Uh, a Demising Shot, which triggers on three arrows and two moons. An Entangling Shot, which is a small straight. Eclipse is four moons, covered shot, two arrows and three feet. An Exploding Arrow is an arrow and three moons. And then you have a Blinding Shot, which is large straight. So your first roll, you're going to kind of decide which one you want oh, to that's aim cool. for. And then you can kind of go from there uh, and see what you get. Shadow Thief, very similar. You have uh, certain dice rolls that you're aiming for, and then you can kind of manipulate as you go from there. Uh, the dice are unique to each character, so you'll notice that the Moon Elf has uh, arrows on 1, 2, and 3, and then feet on 4 and 5, and Moon... Oh, so the Moon is very rare. Moon is very rare. It's, I mean, it's as rare as anything else, but you're, uh, it's only on the 6 as opposed to 1, 2, well, and 3. Well, I mean, it's, it's the most rare. I have the least chance of hitting a Moon. Correct. Okay. And then... Don't we all? Don't we all. <laughs> That's so true. Uh, the Shadow Thief has two daggers on 1 and 2, Bags on three and four, card on five, and shadow on six. Did I manage to pick a character that has some extra card draw? You did. <laughs> yes. Go figure. Wow. wow. Beautiful. You also each have an ultimate ability, which will trigger on a roll Ooh. of all sixes. Like a planeswalker. And the ultimate ability cannot be prevented by any status effect. So once okay. you roll the ultimate ability, your opponent can manipulate your dice. But if you end up with the ultimate ability and your opponent can't mess with the dice, there's no way they can stop the ultimate ability from oh. happening. Mine is a lunar eclipse. Watch out. I'm going to freaking block out something. That sounds... Outstanding. Wow. Mine is, I'm going to change it because I like the word stab better. Okay. Shadow stab. Shadow stab. Ooh, nice. Also, uh, my quote is, entering the shadows is my safe place. Safe place to stab you. <laughs> you just don't like the word shank in general. Yeah. Does it make it you at every opportunity. think of a lamb shank? Yeah, it just kind of is like, I don't like k at the at the oh, end. Oh, okay. You don't like a hard, a hard K sound? <laughs> at the end of a word? Yeah. No. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Um, so the offensive roll. Once you're done with your offensive roll, you will attempt to deal damage to your opponent. Your opponent gets a defensive roll based on the defensive roll ability on their character board. They will roll that number of dice and return damage or negate damage as 
Mine necessary. says on foot foot, prevent a half a damage rounded up. Half of the total damage being dealt oh, okay. to you. Yep. So if you roll, you roll all five dice. If you get two feet, you'll prevent half of the total damage rounded up. Okay, got it. And if you also roll some arrows, for every two, you're going to deal one damage back. Nice. I have two different defensive moves. Yep. I have a shadow defense where I roll four. Um, if I get two knives, daggers, I'll inflict poison. Yes. If I roll a shadow, I'll gain a sneak attack. And on shadow, shadow, gain sneak attack and shadows immediately. Mm-hmm. So um, ignore. And ignore incoming damage. Yep, that's wow. what Shadows does. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, and Counter Strike, uh, deal one damage for each uh, knife. Dagger. <laughs> I'm going to think of it as a kitchen knife. Yeah. yeah. Just, and like on, a, just a chef's And knife. on knife, Shadow, <laughs> inflict poison. So you have two defensive abilities. You yes. would choose which one you want to, to activate to, on the defensive gotcha. role. Gotcha. Cool. Um, and then, so the defensive roll happens. You negate or redeal any damage. And then it goes back to the player playing they have a second main phase believe it or oh. not where you can do things uh, wow. and then you discard down to six all right so you okay. can't have more than six cards in your hand Sounds so good. each of you take a die and you will roll it to see who goes first whoever oh, gets the classic. highest roll three three and six. six so megan you will go first all right um okay. each of you draw shuffle your decks quickly uh i shuffled them but you can shuffle them just to make sure there wasn't any cheating going on nicholas do you i cheat? know you are a notorious I'm not even playing, and I would cheat. Just Maria's to... nickname is Big Cheats. Big Cheats? <laughs> yeah. This is a nickname I acquired Big from Big very often misunderstanding the rules. Misunderstanding the rules or, like, legitimately misunderstanding the rules? Legitimately misunderstanding okay. the uh, rules. Each of you draw four cards. Okay. One. Uh, also, in a game, you would normally start out with 50 health. However, we're playing an abbreviated game, so we're only going to do 30. Okay. Just to okay. let everybody know right. that's how it starts. But you Ooh. do each start out with two combat points. So we're going to start the game, uh, the upkeep phase. There are no status effects, obviously, on your beginning turn. All right. Because you have the first turn of the game, you will also not income during okay. this turn. But you can play main phase actions now. Okay. So on the top right of your cards, you'll notice some different icons. Um, if it has a stop, show my hand. There it is. If it has a uh, top right hand corner, has a stopwatch with an M. That is a card that is only playable during your main phase. Okay. Um, if it has a stopwatch with a die in it. That is only playable during a roll phase. And if it has a stopwatch with uh, an exclamation point, that is an instant action. You can play it uh, whenever. All right. Okay. Sick. The other thing that I will mention very quickly is at any point during a main phase, you can sell a card to your discard pile to gain a combat point. Oh. oh. Can I sell all of my cards? Yes. Okay. For four combat. For four combat points, if you so desire. All right. Um, okay. I'm just going to read my cards very quickly. Yes, do. I have uh, a, to see what happens. Can well, I ask, this, ask, ask a question ask about this, this, question. this main phase cards yes. that I have in my hand? So I've got a couple here that um, reflect my various moves mm -hmm. or my v things that I can um, do with my rolls. Yes. So what the heck does that mean? You'll notice that the cards uh, will say uh, the, the ability and then have a number after them. It'll be two or three. Okay. Those are upgrades to your existing action. If you can play that card, you spend the cost on the upper left-hand corner of the card, and then you will replace your ability with the new ability in your hand, and it gets better. I'm just going to have to go through it. Uh, quick question. Yep. So here's my little... Here's Those are your friends. status tokens, yes. Okay. Um, so what is the difference between a combat point and damage? So a combat point is an ability that you, uh, is a, a, I guess a resource that you gain that allows you to do other things. Damage is different from combat points. Oh. Damage is what you're going to gain. For you primarily, you often deal your combat points as damage, but you okay. don't lose them at that point. You're just like, I have 10 combat points, so I'm going to deal 10 damage. Oh. But if you only have two combat points, then that ability only does two damage. Okay, so I have two damage right now. You I start have out two with two combat, combat points. points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so I have no cards to play during my main phase. Fantastic. So you'll move right to the offensive roll phase. Will you okay. roll all five of your dice? I get to roll them right now? Yes. Oh, exciting. And then based on the outcome of those dice, you will then de decide which of your abilities you want to sort of aim for. Okay. Um, what is this? How many is a small straight? Small straight is four. Okay. And large straight is all of them. Yep. Um, 
So you have three daggers. Okay, so I do have three daggers. So you, I can dagger strike. You can dagger strike right, right now, and you would try to make it better with some additional rolls. And how do I get additional rolls? So you have three rolls. Oh, I just have three yep. rolls. Yep, so now you can keep spooky these. Spooky Yahtzee. Reroll the other one. Right, spooky. Look at that. Done. All right. Very impressive. Uh, so this says deal eight damage. Yep. So, so now, be like, so your offensive roll phase, you've decided to stop without yes. rolling your third shot. Correct. So now you get a chance to defend. Okay. You only have one defending ability, and you only get to roll once. Okay. So you're going to roll all five of your dice. If you get two feet, you'll prevent half the damage. Defend me, moon. And you no, did not. I got one But foot. you did get two arrows. I have three arrows. Yep. So, But for every two, oh, yeah. you'll deal one damage deal back. Deal one. Okay. So you'll okay. take eight damage. Okay, and that, ooh, ooh. that goes over here from health? Yep, you reduce your health by eight. But I take one. And you take one, yep. All you, right. What's 30 minus eight? What? 22. 22. You, Great. Are you, All right. Are you serious just then? Absolutely okay. serious. Absolutely. And then you have a second main phase where you can do something if you wish. I, I have nothing to do. Fantastic. So then you will end your turn. If you had more than six cards, you would discard down. Okay. But that didn't happen, so I'm now we done. go back over here. Okay. You have no status effects, so nothing will resolve now. You do gain one combat point. Why? So now you have three because this is the income phase. So you will always gain, from now on, at the beginning of your turn, you'll always gain one combat point and draw a card. Okay. Gained a combat point, I have three now. I'm gonna draw another card. Yep. Okay, it's another main phase card. Yep, so now you can play any main phase. This is the main phase. You can play main phase cards I if you I just don't wish. understand how this is any different than me rolling the dice. Because, okay, so if you look at longbow, yeah. right now, three arrows is three damage. Oh, it's slightly better. This longbow two ability, so I'm just, three arrows does four damage. I'm just betting that I'm going to try and go for longbow. It stays there. So if you play that oh, card, it becomes your this, longbow action is now. It changes to that? Yes, oh. forever, for the rest of the game. Okay. How many oh. of these can I play? Well, that one costs you two combat points, so okay. you have to spend two points. Oh, I see. But if you wanted to play another one, you could sell other cards into your discard to gain... Oh, interesting. Additional combat points. Okay, no, I'll just do one. Now I understand more. There you go. Look at understanding is happening. Yay! All right. All right, so you're gonna, we're going to move to offensive roll phase. We're going to attack. Woohoo! I've got a couple, of, I've got three feet, which doesn't seem very good on attacks, and two arrows. Mm -hmm. um, so three feet and two arrows is your cover oh, shot. Oh, yeah, it is. Seven damage. Yep, and you would and gain I get an ev evasive. Yep. Yeah, let's what just do that. Evasive so evasive is when a player, so I'm reading directly off of the Moon Elf player card. Ah. Uh, when a player with evasive receives damage, they may choose to spend the evasive token, and then they would roll one die. If the outcome is one to two, they don't receive any damage. Though if they were to get any status effects, that would happen. Okay. Uh, multiple evasive tokens may be spent in an attempt to prevent the same source of damage. Okay, yeah. Let's just do that. So you'll deal seven, you are pending seven damage. Yep. And you've gained the evasive, which goes right in the center column of your, okay. of your card there. All right, so uh, now I get my, evas my yep, defensive roll. Yep, so you can roll. choose which defensive roll you wish to do. Okay, oh, I'm to going to do this one where I roll four of them. Right, so take one die and separate it. Uh, I have dagger, shadow, pouch, pouch. Okay, so <laughs> you <laughs> didn't uh, get two daggers, so you won't be inflicting poison. No. But you on did. shadow gains sneak attack. Yep, you will have a sneak attack, so you gain the sneak attack icon, which is a little, yep. All right. Little daggerman. What does sneak attack do? Sneak attack. A player with this token may spend it at the conclusion of their offensive roll phase to roll one die and add the value of the die to their damage total. This effect cannot be applied to collateral damage. Collateral damage. Oh. It's a t specific type of damage. So I can spend it to later deal more damage to you. Correct. Great. All right, sweet. So you will still take the full amount of damage. Which is seven. 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 A covered shot. So I shot you from behind a large moon rock. Dust. Dust yes, you did. Dust did it. Dust did it. You know, I have a, a bow underneath my couch ready to go. Is that real? That's true. Where are the arrows? The arrows are upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> way to keep, way to keep your weapon and your ammunition you separate. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, right? Yeah, that's responsible <laughs> weapon ownership. <laughs> yeah. Very well done. Uh, right. So back to you in your second main yeah. phase, if okay. you wish. Okay, second main phase. And what can I do here? Uh, you can spend combat points to play cards from your hand. Uh, you can sell cards in your hand to gain additional combat points, if you wish. No. I or you can do any so. kind of ability that uh, allows you to uh, uh, instance instant speed. Um, Instant action cards. Um, yeah, why don't I um, draw two 
two cards. Okay, you spend a combat oh, point for that. Oh, you don't, you don't want to spend that. a combat point for that. Yeah, well, okay, I'll draw two. Okay. And then we'll see what happens. Sure. Okay, so I've spent I've spent one, so I'm down to zero. Yep. Um, but now I can still sell to like work my way back up. Correct. Um, 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 that one seems fun. That one seems fun. Uh, play only after attacking an opponent, huh? Hmm. It, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sell that. Okay. Exploding For a arrow. One combat yeah. point. Okay. Go ahead. And that's it. So now you would gain okay. a combat point. I'm going to at the end of her turn play this instant. Ooh. Getting paid. Gain two combat points. Yeah. One, that's two. good. All right. Now. Yep. I gain a combat, gain a combat point, point at point. the start of my turn. Draw a card. I draw a card. Oh, I love card draw. It's so good. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, I am going to... Main phase. Main phase. I have nothing to play during my main phase once again. Okay. Uh, and so I'm going to go to damage time. Okay. Damage time. Uh, damage right. time. Uh, let's see. I have card. Oh, I have Star Star. So mm -hmm. I could card you card Ucopia. You could. Um, card Ucopia. <laughs> or you, I have. Oh. Yep. You have two bags. Yeah, I have two bags, which could let me later on do. Pickpocket. Gain combat points. Mm -hmm. And or I have one dagger. Yep. So your your options right now are to kind of lean into gaining combat points for later. You can keep the dagger and keep trying to deal damage. Or you could card Ucopia and draw cards for every card die that you rolled and try and get a shadow, which would allow your opponent or force right, your opponent I'm to discard. I'm going to do that. Okay. Card Ucopia card incoming. Ucopia. Oh, oh, look at that. boy. Uh, so that's four cards. Now, keep in mind, you will Sick. have to discard down. Uh, who cares? Okay. Oh! I'm going to draw five cards. Whoa! Yep. Yahtzee! You will draw right. five cards. Spooky Yahtzee! One. So at the end of the Two. offensive, there's no damage coming your way, so Three. you can't defend against anything. Four. But what if I want to just be like, well, you're busy drawing cards, Five. stab you with my bow nope. and arrow. You can only do that on your turn. Oh, well, all right. No. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I have cards that I can play. Great, um, so now you're in your second main phase. Yes. Uh, he keeps telling me I'm not in the shadows. How do I get in the shadows? You would need to gain an ability that would put you into the shadows. Oh, okay. Where is, oh, I don't have any right now. Shadow yes. dance? Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Do the shadow dance. <laughs> um, and also your uh, your shadow defense can put you in oh, shadows. Oh, that's right. Um, I'm going to gain two combat points. Yep. Wow. Um, Megan is rich, and I'm getting a little worried over here. Okay, that's fair. You should be worried. I'm going to <gasps> oh, pay two you. of those to poison wound Maria. No. Inflict poison. Okay, what does poison do? Uh, a player afflicted with this token is dealt one damage per poison token during the upkeep phase of their turn. And that just like is it's there. there forever yep, until you get rid of it. Wow. Um, but how do I get rid of it? There are cards that let you remove status. Abilities. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, let's see. And then I'm going to one. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and then I'm going to. Sorry, I. You can play or sell. You don't have to play oh, that's it if right. you don't want to. I'm going to gain shadows. Yeah. Spending oh, so four. now you're entering the shadows. Yeah. So now what does uh, you being in the shadows get you? When a player with this token is damaged as a. As a result of an opponent's offensive roll phase, no damage is received what? and no defense is made. Um, discard this token after the affected player starts and concludes a single turn while under its effects. Yeah. So okay. regardless of whether or not you use the shadow's ability, you will lose the token. At the end of her the next end turn. Of your next turn. My next turn. Mm -hmm. So it goes my turn, her turn, and then I lose it at the end of my next turn. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, so so my attack will do no damage, coming up. Right. Uh. So, like, I would be better served with just doing something that doesn't... Right, because she's going to lose the token at the end of the And I'm going to sell turn. this for a, com for a point. For a point. I'm done. Okay. Back to you. All right. So, upkeep... So your status effect first. I take a damage you from will. my poison. That yep. just never goes away. 21. I'm able to drink on the moon. Great. Great. Gain a dollar. Gain a dollar. Two, Combat point. Two moon dollars. Um, and draw a card. Yep. Right? Okay. Great. We're getting there. Oh, so many 
so many things. <laughs> okay, so can I sell in this main face as well? Yes, you can. Um, I'm going to buy. How about that? Can Kay. I do that? Yep. I'm going to spend my two moon dollars to draw three cards. Sure. Seems like maybe worth it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then maybe I will also s sell some of my moon dollar, my, my cards. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> For moon dollars. For moon dollars. For moon dollars. One, I'm going to sell that because, like, who cares? Um, who cares about better D? <laughs> what is what is my thing? Oh, that that becomes a moon. Um, <laughs> um, uh, 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 you know, good luck, good luck, high five board game reviews where you can hear the phrase "Who cares about better D?" <laughs> 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 and, and I'm gonna sell that. All right, all right. So so two moon two dollars. Two moon dollars, and I'm gonna. I suppose I could do this. This seems fun. I can up my entangling shot. Yep. For uh -huh. two. Make that a little bit better. I'm back to zero moon dollars. Mm -hmm. And yeah, let's go. Let's roll it up. Roll uh, it up. I have foot, arrow, arrow, arrow. Oh. Oh, it's a bad time. I to know, roll. that's true. It is a sucky time to do that. However, you could inflict entangle with your longbow two ability now because you have four of a kind numbers. That does oh, not Oh, wait, seem that's not worth numbers. It. You can't do that. I think what I'm going for is. What am I going for? I'm very aggressive. Mm -hmm. Is the moons, right? Yep. Four moons. Because that's the only thing that um, really will do something. It will inflict a lot of status abilities, yep. Okay, well, I'll just roll. We're just going to. And keep in mind, just because she's in the shadows, if you got five moons, well, it's probably God not going to happen. Dang you it. can't stop the ability. You can't stop an ultimate. Okay. True. That's right. Last, Going for it. Last. Well, I mean, I. What's the. What's the use? I got one. Got I got two, two moons. moons. Two moons. How many do I need? Four. God dang it. Um. I can play a instant from my hand. Mm -hmm. at, um, which says roll one. Um, on a foot I get to do entangle. On an arrow inflict two damage. On a moon, inflict, inflict blind. Yep. So I just take one that I want to reroll? Yes. Foot. You got a foot, so you would inflict entangle. Okay. Hand me an entangle. You're what entangled. Does this mean? A player afflicted with this token gets one fewer roll attempts during their next offensive roll phase. Ooh. Then you discard it. Spicy. Mm hmm. And I have now two feet, two moons, and a thing, which is absolutely nothing. Right? Right. Oh, I should have been thinking about the straight here, too. Sorry, right. you were pretty far away from it. Yeah, that's true. Okay. All right, so your second main phase now? Yeah, I think I did everything in my first main phase. Okay. Um, Do you want to sell any of those cards? Great question. Thanks. Probably. I'm going to sell samesies. Okay. Get a combat point and back to you. Moon dollar. All right. I gain a combat point. Ooh, come here. I think calling it combat points is quite confusing. Yes, agree. <laughs> Draw a card. Um, Nicholas, right. where did this game come from? Where did it come from? Yeah. Like the company who makes it? Yeah, like was this a Kickstarter? Was oh, this yes, it was It was a Kickstarter, yes. Roxley Games is the name of the company. Cool. Have they done other All right. games before? I'm going to uh, go ahead and roll. They have, yes. Steampunk Rally is another one of their games. Um, and they I only get to roll twice because of this, right? Right. Yep. So you would roll once, keep what you want, and then roll again. I have pouch, pouch, Ooh, or more daggers. dagger, dagger, dagger. Uh, we'll keep dagger, dagger, dagger. Okay. And you only get to roll one more time. Shadow and Star. That's pretty good. All right. Because this uh, dagger strike ability. Oh, has, that's right. If you roll shadow, oh, you inflict wow. poison. Ooh, all right. Oh, so you no. get a poison. Another poison. And you also Ooh. deal. I also deal four damage. Four damage. Okay. Yep. So you would hang on. You can roll to defend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Defense. Activate moon defense. I have two feet. You got there. Okay, great. And you have three arrows, three which arrows. means you're going to deal one damage back. Okay. All right, so I take a damage. So four damage halved is two. Two, so I take two. You take two, and 19. yes, you would I take, take one. Yep, I'm at twenty-one. But she still t has to take the poison, right? That's like just at a the thing beginning that happens. of. At the but beginning. I'm saying like the she, token. She yes. has to take the token. All right. Um, awesome. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my sneak attack at the end. A player with this token may spend it at the conclusion of their offensive roll phase to roll one die and add the value of the die to their damage total. So you would have needed to have done that beforehand, but we can oh, my uh, bad. when you're done rolling. But we can retcon it. Keep in yeah, mind her defensive yeah. roll is still oh. going to take effect. Oh, okay. I mean, I would have done it. So. Sure. So three. three. So it was a total of seven. So you'll take one more damage. Okay. 18. Okay. Sick. Um, that has happened now, so yes. I'm done with it. Um, my shadowman goes away. Correct. And your second main. It is my second main. I'm going to spend my three combat points on shadow defense two. Ooh. Mm. One, two, three. Um. Uh, so this ups uh, the poison. Makes her yeah her shadow defense better. And then I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna sell that, sell that for how many people point. can play this game again, Six. Nicholas? Six. Oh, yeah, that's right. awesome. It's a 3v3, or they do like a battle royale mode where everybody's playing against each other. Wow. And I'm done. The nice thing about um, the Take battle two? royale mode yeah. is that it prevents people from sort of all ganging up on one person. Yeah. Because there's an intermediate phase after you roll offensively, you roll a die to determine which other character is being attacked. Oh, nice. So, so it's you sort can't, of random. Yeah, you you can't just all be like, we're going to kill right. Nicholas. Why is it always that? All right, I'm not going to do my thing in my main phase. Okay. But I'm just going to head to combat. Let's do it. You took two damage from your poison? I sure did. Okay. All right, so we've got arrow, Ooh, arrow, all the feet. feet, 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 uh, which is a covered, covered shot. shot. Once yep. again, just always covered shots. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems pretty good, though, so uh, I guess I'll just do it. Sounds good. All right, I'm going to roll five dice. Yep, for your shadow defense two. I have, let's see, I have shadow uh, on shadow gain sneak attack. And that's all. Um, you rolled a lot of bags. Well, hold on. <laughs> Lots of bags. Lots of bags. Um, I'm going to Better target player. Day. <laughs> Better target day. player may re-roll one or more dice. So when it says one or more, it means that I can re-roll, like, I could re-roll all of these. That's correct. I'm going to leave this dagger. Okay. She want poison. There Ooh. you go. You, she got yeah. it. Yeah. Two daggers and a shadowman. So I, uh, wait, no, gain a sneak attack. Yep. And, and inflict poison. And inflict a poison. Wow, is the mo max poison five here, or can we keep adding no, to this? No, you can keep adding. Oh, it, no. Yeah, it goes real high. All right, so I take seven, though. Yeah. Yes. All right. 21 minus seven is 14. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then back to your second main phase. Yeah, that's all she wrote. All right. So that's Dice Throne. Wow. Uh, more right. or less. I'll stop it here because you, um, how does it feel? Like watching it, it kind of feels like you're losing, but you're really winning in health. I know. I know. I mean, I do a lot of damage, so yep. I don't know if that's necessarily the case. It just right. depends on the roll of the die. Uh, yeah. That is the thing about this game is it definitely has, I mean, it's about dice throwing. So like you have yeah. to deal with the element of randomness in that game. But uh, Maria, how did it feel? I love it. Yeah? Yes, I am a huge fan of this. This is really cool. Yeah. I love that you can upgrade your board and you Very have the, cool. lots yep. of decisions to make with selling cards and trying to pay the cost on the cards that you have in your hand. And it's like upgraded Yahtzee, spooky Yahtzee, as you said. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love that there's different characters that each have their own persona that's that's manifested through their abilities and what they can do with their dice. I, I, I'm I'm down. I, I'm a big fan of this already. Cool. Yeah, right. I'm enjoying it. I will say it feels like a little clunky to me. Okay. Um, there's kind of like the like this being called combat points. It's just sort of like a complete why in my mind of like why would you call it that when you have something called damage? Okay. It should definitely um, be called space bucks. Space, space bucks. <laughs> Moon dollars. It should dollars. in fact okay. be called space bucks <laughs> or something like themed to the person okay. or to the character. I think would actually really be on point. Yeah. Um, and nice. And like some of these, it kind of, like, it feels like a lot of pieces to me, but I'm also a person who likes things who are a little more pared down. Mm -hmm. That being said, it is a lot of fun. 
Like, yeah. I really enjoyed this. I would certainly play this again and this, if this, people wanted to play the it. The inflicting of status abilities is really sort of dependent on that first roll of the dice, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, that first roll of the and dice, like, you're like, okay, it really narrows yeah. down what you're going to be aiming for. But once we kind of got it and we had been through everything once, I was like, okay, now I get it. Yep. Um, I will say that, like, for people playing this the first time, if you're having a moment where you're like, why are there all of these things? You'll push through that. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll come out the other end. <laughs> yes. I also think... With the different characters, they obviously play very differently. Like Shadow Thief, your whole goal is to like amass combat oh, points and turn and them like into poison po damage. I think poison is just like poison the is a huge one winner thing. for you and being in, in Shadow too because mm -hmm. yeah. my character is so focused. I mean, I I also picked the correct character. I'm yeah. dealing yes. large amounts of damage. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that that's really tough for me. For yep. people who do not uh, <laughs> who do not listen to Good Luck High Five, which is our magic podcast, yeah. you will you will not know that Maria is in fact a very damage focused person, <laughs> so and I great. am a very card drop. Card -dropper. So person. that is a that's got to be some kind of flavor victory. Yeah, here and there's the also. Um, uh, there's a pyromancer, there's a paladin, there's a barbarian. There's lots yeah. of different characters that all play very differently. So you'll get a different experience every time. Oh, and drawing all those cards. That, that felt nice. really yeah, good. Oh, that felt Cardicopia. Really good. Oh, super good. <laughs> cool. So that's Dice Throne from Roxley Games. You can grab it at Roxley Games. Gains. Uh, you can grab it at your friendly local GameStop now. <laughs> Not a GameStop. A game store. <laughs> <laughs> they, pro they might have it at GameStop, too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they might have it there. Uh, season one and season two are currently out with season three on its way. GameStop. <laughs> Pick it up at GameStop. You can pick it up at a GameStop, I'm sure. <laughs> when all is said and done, your experience with Dice Throne is going to be completely dependent on the dice you roll and how you feel about dice in general. If you're fine with the randomness they bring, especially in a game like this one, where the effectiveness of your attacks is completely determined by those little d6s, then there's plenty in this box and the already released Season 2 to love. Let's go through our checklist and have a little deeper look. In the box, rulebook clear and non-gender pronouns. While the game is pretty simple, the rulebook is equally simple. It'll walk you through exactly how a turn works and, for the simpleness of this game, does a great job. Also, it uses the non-gendered pronoun you throughout, so well done. Iconography clear. While some of the dice icons aren't exactly self-explanatory, the player mats do a great job of showing you what you should be rolling for when you roll. These are immensely helpful and go a long way towards mitigating some of the confusion. Packaging well done. The inserts here are fantastic and do a great job of keeping each player's character stuff from all mingling together. OCD types such as myself will love the attention to detail here. On the table, good representation. The heroes in Season 1 have a nice mix of genders and the women aren't here just for sex appeal. Component quality. The dice feel nice and will last a while. The cards have decent thickness and the player mats, while a little thin, serve their purpose nicely. Replay value. Huge. With the number of heroes in this box and more available through expansions and Season 2 already out, even if you tire of what's here, there's lots more to be had. The Season 1 box has plenty though, and you won't get bored easily. Fun to lose. Again, with many dice games, your ability to lose with a smile is going to depend on how you feel about randomness. In one of my first games, I was dealing a lot of damage only to have it continually halved and retaliated by god rolls on my opponent's side. It was frustrating, but I knew that it wasn't the game's fault. Balancing is actually done really well here, and that lends to a much better losing experience. Ultimately, I like Dice Throne, even if I don't love it. The characters all feel great, dice chucking is fun, and the Battle Royale mode has some serious promise in the right crew. If this sounds up your alley, definitely grab it and see if it's for your table. I'm Nicholas, reminding you to help protect the game population. Always leave your cards. <laughs>
We're also always looking for new games to review. So if you make games or you know a company who does and wants to have their game reviewed on Good Luck High Five, please reach out to us at glhf at goodluckhighfive.com and we'd be happy to take a look. You can follow me, Captain N, the Game Master, on Twitter and Instagram at CaptainNGM, and follow the channel at GLHF Magic. Remember, please shop at your local game store whenever possible. Until next time, I'm Nicholas, and good luck, high five.